All right, guys, this should be a lot of fun. The Colts of Chucky. That is a 2017 horror movie, and it is the seventh installment of the Child's Play franchise. The Cult of Chucky. Wow. Well, the movie, I have to say, I'm a little torn. I'm having mixed feelings because on one hand, it was better than part six. But then on the other hand, like as far as the scariness goes, part six was better. But anyway, I'll just tell you the story and then you'll know what I mean. Cult of Chucky basically starts off showing Andy in this restaurant talking to this chick named Rachel. And he's basically telling Rachel about his life. He's like, you found out who I am. You Googled me, didn't you? The effing internet. That's what he said, the effing internet. So apparently she looked him up on the internet, found out who he really was. So anyway, she goes on to tell him, you know, Andy, you're a nice guy, but I can't do this. This is just too weird for me. And I can understand that because Andy has been through some crazy stuff. And I do plan on watching the movie again. But anyway, I'm just going to go on because I don't have much time here. So she leaves him and everything. And he's, you know, a little sad. I can't blame him. So he goes home. And he lives in this cabin. It doesn't really tell you where the movie is set. But he's in this cabin. And this dude is, I guess he's a drunk from what he's been through in the other movies. I mean, he's got beer galore. He got beer all over the place. That's the one thing I can say about this movie, man. This movie is not boring. I have to give it to the writer, Don Mancini. You did a good job in that way, bro, because this movie is not boring at all. Andy has so much beer. He's just tossing it back. I mean, my man, he's even smoking weed. So I'm like, that's some serious depression, bro. You need to see a doctor about that. So anyway, he goes into this vault or whatever. And check this out, guys. This dude has Chucky's head in the vault. Because remember in part six, when he shot him with the shotgun, he said, play with this, and blew his head off. And Chucky's head is still moving. And it looks all bloody and nasty and everything. And Chucky's mouth is gagged. And he takes the gag off of Chucky's mouth. And Chucky's like, oh, Andy, you know, let me hit that weed. Because, you know, Andy's smoking weed and everything. He's like, why don't you let me hit that? So Andy lets him take a hit of the marijuana. And then Chucky tries to scare him. He's like, ah! And then he, like, he goes, he, 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 he. You know how Chucky do that laugh? I can't really do it like y'all can, but... Anyway, Andy gets mad. He's like, oh, you want to play? Let's play. And he takes this blowtorch. And Chucky's like, F you! And Andy puts it on Chucky's skin. Chucky's like, ah! Ah! And it shows the title, Cult of Chucky. And it starts showing all these clips from past movies and stuff like that. It's sort of like H2O. It reminds me of H2O a little bit. I'm telling you, I really enjoyed this movie. You know, it had some silly parts there. We'll get to that. But anyway... So then we go to the insane asylum. We see Nika there and she's played by Fiona Dorif again. And basically they're in group therapy. And everybody's giving Nika a bunch of crap like, "Oh, you know, you're you're a killer. You killed your family." I still don't get how they figure Nika kill her family. She's in a freaking wheelchair. How you going to kill your family? 
I don't understand that, but whatever. So she's talking, and then the doctor, Dr. Foley, he, like, brings out a good guy doll. And the doll's like, hi, I'm Chucky, wanna play? And then the one dude that's sitting there, they call him Multiple Malcolm, and he's like, whoa, did you just say his name is Chucky? And he's aware of Chucky's history, apparently. But the doctor, Dr. Foley, don't give a crap. He's like, oh, the doll's fake and all this stuff. So then, as the time goes on, the doll starts killing people. But then something real confusing happens. Tiffany Valentine, a.k.a. Tiffany Ray, the bride of Chucky, she drops another Chucky doll off. And I'm like, wait a minute. What's going on with this? You know, why is there two Chucky dolls, you know? Or three if you count the one she dropped off. See, even I'm confused. I think she dropped the second one off. So y'all correct me in the comment box because even I'm confused. There was so many of them. And Chucky is just torturing and killing all the patients. And then we find out that even though Andy has the real Chucky at his house, if that makes any sense, Chucky found this new spell where he's able to put his soul in multiple dolls. And that's the part where it gets kind of silly. Because I'm sitting there thinking, well, at least with the curse of Chucky, they tried to go scary again. But then with this one, it got silly. So I'm thinking to myself, are we back on the horror comedy thing? Because now Chucky is delivering one-liners. He's trying to be funny. So I'm like, well, what was the pur what was the purpose of the curse of Chucky if Chucky was just going to go back to the comedy routine? So anyway, when Andy finds out that Chucky's able to do this, he raced up to the mental asylum to try to stop Chucky and the other Chucky dolls, which is why they call it a cult of Chucky, because it's a group of them. But he tries to stop the other Chucky dolls from killing Nika. And we find out that the doctor has been apparently raping Nika all this time and other patients, I assume. And I, this is the part that confuses me. I thought Jennifer Tilly was gonna have a bigger role. I thought she was gonna try to kill Andy. But if you ask me, she's kind of soft in this movie. I thought she was going to be more evil, but she's not. So maybe you guys can explain that to me. Long story short, Andy kills one of the Chucky dolls. And he, in order to get in the asylum to begin with, he punches one of the police officers and he's like, commit me. So, they commit him, and he kills one of the Chucky dolls. But there's like two other ones left. And that's when Chucky makes his plan known. This is literally the dumbest plan I've ever heard. Apparently, Chucky wanted to be Nika the whole time. That's right, I said it. Between Curse of Chucky and Cult of Chucky, Chucky wanted to be a girl the whole time. 
That was his plan. That's why he didn't kill Nika. He said, Nika, do you think I was really gonna kill you? If I really wanted to kill you, you would be tits up. Really, Chucky? That's your plan? You wanted to be Nika the whole time? So anyway, he placed his soul into Nika. And he became Nika. And he walked outside of the asylum. And he kissed Jennifer Tilly, but only he did it as a girl. And then uh, Tiffany was like, what's it like? And Chucky was like, oh, it's interesting. I'm guessing they did this for the whole gay rights thing. That's the only reason that I could think that they would come up with that, but whatever. Chucky's a girl? I don't know. I'm just not feeling it. And it's not a prejudice thing. I just, it just doesn't work for child's play, in my opinion. But Chucky's alive. And apparently, he got what he always wanted. He always wanted to get out of the doll. Now he's finally out of the doll. After seven movies. It took him seven movies to get out of the Chucky doll. Now he's out of it. So now what? Is the curse broken? Because that's why they called it the curse of Chucky. Because he was cursed to keep coming back as a doll. So let me ask you again, now that he's out of the doll, is the curse broken? Shouldn't the movies just stop? Because he's out of the doll now. Just saying. What's the point of the franchise now? He's out of the doll. Now he's Nika. And they drive off. And they just start laughing. <laughs> oh, and by the way, Tiffany knows the same spell. She's in the regular body and in the doll at the same time, like Chucky. So, there you go. Cult of Chucky, ladies and gentlemen. I liked it. It's just that part six was a little more on the serious side. And with seven... It just became silly again. So I don't know. I don't really understand that part. But I enjoyed the movie overall. And somebody pointed out to me while doing this review. Wouldn't you like to see what happens next with Chucky? Yeah. I had to see what happens next. Now he's a girl. So where could they possibly go with this? I guess I'll see in four years. God willing, of course. Alright, guys. I'm going to get on up out of here. The Cult of Chucky. It was definitely interesting. It wasn't boring. I'll say that much. It starred... Fiona Dorif as Nika Pierce. Brad Dorif as the voice of Chucky. Oh, and not to mention, Summer H. Howe. She's a ghost in this movie. The ghost of Alice Pierce. And apparently, Tiffany says that Alice is dead. So I really don't get that. Um. Wow. I, I just, I don't know what to say. Oh yeah, and if you stay after the credits, you'll see that Kyle from Child's Play 2, she's now in charge of torturing Chucky. She said that Andy sent her, so that should be interesting. I guess she's going to be in part 8. Alright guys, I'm getting out of here. Call to Chucky. October 3rd, 2017. I'm the Michael Myers fanatic. I approve this message. This has been the cult of Chucky. I think it would be nice if I had a cult. Like if it was a bunch of clones of me, that would be cool. 
Just an idea. I might look, work on the spell, see if I can get that done. Would y'all like to have a bunch of clones, a lot of Darnells running around? Wouldn't that be cool? Just something to think about, guys. I'm out of here. All right, peace out. Cult of Chucky. You guys go pick it up. It was a good movie. Just a little on the weird side, but aren't they all? All right, peace.